like it's no surprise here that survival horror is easily one of my favorite genres in gaming. It doesn't matter what time of the year it is, I'll play any survival horror game that intrigues me. But this year marks 10 years of doing this whole YouTube thing and uh, we're starting to run out of all the big ones, you know, the classics, the Resident Evils, Silent Hills, the Dead Spaces, and the Evil Withins. Now look, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's becoming a much harder task to find interesting ones to play for the channel. So it often falls to the hidden gems or the new releases. Which brings us to today's specimen. I found this little janky $7.50 survival horror game that hit Steam earlier this month. I took one look at the screenshots and almost bailed right there. They gave me some pretty heavy Unity asset flip vibes. Steam has no quality assurance anymore so that stuff just floods through. But the one thing that this shouldn't have if it was one of those asset flips was an overwhelmingly positive reviews, which is currently sitting at 97% positive. And the only way that's gonna happen on an asset flip is if people are writing memes and posting ASCII arts in the reviews. So I purchased that bad boy right there without hesitation, installed its whopping 300 megabytes of content, and uh, dove into it immediately. And what I got was a first person survival horror experience stripped down to its core with a ton of surprises and references to all our other favorite games. So sit back and enjoy as we drift off into the nightmare of decay. The game starts off with a, a news broadcast of this lovely man here telling us about a string of people going missing. Now, in this game, they don't opt for the, the cheesy dialogue of like an early Resident Evil. Don't scare me. That's what I was going to say. But just take a look at this. Or even like the uneasiness of the Silent Hill dialogue. Mama, why are you running away? <gasps> You're not my mama. Instead, they went for more of a Animal Crossing style of voice acting, which is truly the most terrifying game of all time. Is the, 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 is, is, not. Nah. Now, don't get me wrong, I love this style of voice acting, but if the devs are watching, and they want me to voice some of the characters in their game, maybe in like a future patch. Um, hit me up, I'll, I'll be voicing some of the characters throughout this video, including the news anchor, which we're gonna do right now. Have his script here. Uh, let me know what you guys think, all right? <clears throat> 23 year old Judith Gaswell was reported missing yesterday evening. She is described as Caucasian, five feet, seven inches tall, with a slim build and long brown hair. She was last seen entering her apartment after being escorted home by some friends following a late night clubbing. Police have searched her apartment and interviewed neighbors, but have been unable to find any clues leading to her current whereabouts. Close friends and relatives say that Glaslow has been complaining about frequent nightmares and hallucinations in the days before she went missing. It is unknown if these had anything to do with her disappearance. Glaslow is the latest and alarming number of recent disappearances that have local residents spooked. Authorities say there has been over 10 missing people reported just in the past week. Police have been unable to find any new leads of the investigation of the disappearances and employ anyone with information to call the missing persons investigation unit at- I actually hurt my throat and I never want to do that again. This has one of my, maybe one of my favorite examples of how to do a tutorial in your game. We're tasked with taking our leftover pizza from the fridge and then microwaving it, even though we have a perfectly good oven, but I won't get into that here. By giving the player these mundane in-world tasks to do, by using the same controls that you're gonna be using for the rest of the game in actual dangerous situations. It's my favorite way of putting a tutorial in your game without it seeming like a tutorial. So after a quick shower, we head to bed. Even though our PC is on and it's left open to, uh, let's have a look here. Oh, that's my YouTube page, look at that. He's subscribed, what an absolute champion. You guys, uh, that's great, you guys consider that? <laughs> After a wonderful little title drop, we awake, much like Caleb from Blood in a Grave. And this is where the game begins. I live again. Alright, here we go. We have... What the f- Alright, <laughs> I'm out of here, dude. Oh, hello, kitty. No, not you, kitty. Not you. Uh... Oh! Talking cat. I was not expecting that. It looks like the nightmare has claimed yet another victim. Many have been brought here against their will only to meet a terrible end one way or another. No one has ever managed to escape alive. <laughs> okay, thanks for the heads up, kitty. Oh, good. Just like that, the safety of having no weapon is torn from us immediately. You know what this looks like? This looks like they're about to do... They are, they're about to do the Resident Evil bit. 
right off the bat. Here it comes. A uh, big shout out to the devs for sending me a hard copy of Nightmare of Decay. That's very kind of them. Alright, let's see how the knife works on these guys. Oh my god. Okay, they kind of grab you too. Oh! I should also mention we're playing on hard. I don't know if I mentioned that. Look at this. We're gonna get our royalty free paintings on the wall. Always just the most <laughs> disturbing shit that no one has ever hung on their wall. It's the one of that, uh, the, that guy eating something. Ooh, okay. Save station. Good. What the hell is that? Is a bull dancing? Man, this place is whack. Look at this. A little shooting gallery. Sign me up, Timmy. I only needed 150 to get the max prize, but I went for the 230 instead. No big deal. Beat that, you sons of. Here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. The functionality of this map is perfect. It's how it should be done. It's not a looker. Don't get me wrong, but I'm liking the map. Look, when I found this game, hang on. Oh my god. Uh, the screenshots really did not look very good, but in motion, this feels great. That's why we don't trust screenshots, baby. Oh, you okay, brother? You're not supposed to kill every enemy, I understand, but look at my ammo. I'm doing great. Also, I know how inspired this is by Resident Evil, so I don't know if these guys are going to get back up as re-deads or whatever later on, so we just do this. Welcome to the kitchen of the dead. Is this... Yeah, that's the uh, Silent Hill puzzle where you have to drop the soda cans down the thing. I know that, we can do that. I'm gonna stab it just in case. No, we're good. Now I'm a big fan of the kitchen, because this is where we meet the voice behind the pantry door. A suspiciously zombie sounding grunting voice. <laughs> but he begs for our help and we have to go find the pantry key. But the main part here is we, we gotta act fast because his collection is rotting away. So naturally we do the smartest thing we can in this situation and go find the key to let it out. But not before we get jumped by the 14 chef zombies popping out this other back door like they're fucking filming kitchen nightmares out there. Look, dead. Decomposed, soft, dead. It's fine because we can just turbo boost past them. We steal their bloody sack and bail since these enemies work on the old Resident Evil rule of not being able to come through loading screen doors. Ah yes, the acid recipe. My grandma had one of these in her cookbook, right next to the cookies. One Christmas she got confused and made the wrong thing. Uh, that was an interesting Christmas. So we gotta make the, an acid for a flesh wall that I haven't seen yet. So that's alarming. There's no way this shotgun's free. There's no- Nope, okay. Ah! See you in hell, fucker. He's making a break for the urinals. Don't you do it, <laughs> you little bastard. What kind of mansion has three urinals in it? If anyone out there lives in a mansion with three urinals, firstly, um, go check out my Patreon page. Secondly, what the hell, dude? You pissing next to your brother in the morning? <laughs> you don't mind me, fellas? I'm just gonna check out this, this uh, large concrete room with boxes in it. This is a save room. I'm gonna have to add some music in post. Really bring it together, you know? Drop my meat sack. No, my, sorry, my bloody sack into this lifter thing. I forgot what it was called, but this is fine. A lot of dead zombies in here for a room I haven't been in. Something in the washing machine. Hope my socks haven't come alive. Oh! It's that cat from the start of the game. Has he run down the long corridor? He wants me to talk to him down this long corridor full of dead zombies. That's bait. That's bait. Get rid of these fuck. I managed to get the shiny thing that was inside. Since you saved me, I'll give it to you. Here, take it. Maybe you can find a use for it. Thanks for the dog coin? Cat? Kind of weird energy. I knew it! You jerks! I'm out of here. Don't mind me. Just reading whatever this says. Oh, death is the only way out, is it? How about this door? <laughs> oh, save room. It's just box? Oh, no. Door unlocked. Can we get back in the vent, please? Okay. Load this bad boy up and here we go. 
Hey! <laughs> Is that dogs? That's dogs. Ah. Oh. You guys distracted? You guys good? Ah! Ah! You little shits! Yeah, you better run. Hey! Hey, back up! Really? Two shotgun shots? Man, what a nightmare. Oh. Locked! Finally, I can get back to work on adding fresh toys to my precious collection. Oh, good. I don't know what I was expecting. A friendly faith? Take the coin? Yeah, sure, why not? Robbing the dead has never had any consequences. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh fuck. Hell no, I am out of here. Good luck getting through this door, you creep. Whoop. How's this taste? No! Oh, let go of me, you... Try that again. I killed the zombie this time. Huh. I keep quick loading because I want to just I just want to hit him with TNT. There we go. That was not the amount of damage I was hoping for. Ow! God! Oh my back! Why am I so slow? Ow! Hang on. Give me a second. Good God! What a nightmare. Thank you. It all seems to have started after he asked me and a few other servants to install a wardrobe over a large hole in the basement. In the weeks afterwards, it's almost like he had become a different person. Aloof and quick to anger. Oh fuck, I recorded it in stereo. I'd like for you guys to meet one of my favorite characters from Nightmare of Decay. His name is just Creature in Hole. He may look like a boss or someone that we can't trust. But he, he asks a, a simple request, a, a simple request of us. He wishes for us to collect three decapitated women's heads for his collection. So I agree wholeheartedly and get it done a bit later. Believe me when I say the reward is 100% worth it on this one. Okay, surely this is going to be a lot more satisfying than hitting the giant with it. God, I love TNT. Oh my god. You survive, brother? You can keep on living. What's this? That's a clock. That's a, that's for the clock outside. Got it. And this is actually where we find the spade key. Now this is a replica of the Resident Evil spade key, but I, I see why you may be confused in thinking that maybe I had a custom one made just for Nightmare of Decay. It's the exact same model. We're just gonna reset the zombies here real quick. They should all be in there. Default positions. Nice. Oh, this is the wall of flesh I've read so much about. I'll be back for you. I don't think this is going to do anything. We need to make some acid. Don't you worry. I'll be right back. What's going on in here, fellas? Are you the cultist from blood? Either that or they could be Obi-Wan. I'm not sure right now. Hello? What the fuck? I got guns! I mean, I'm gonna have to give them the blood cultist voice lines. I was not expecting guys with guns. I'll be 100% honest with you here. Okay, if you've played this game before, you probably noticed that I missed something in this room. Don't worry, I come back later, I witness it, and you can see my reaction. But until then, let's just continue on. This woman's missing a head. That could be good for us. We could use that. Oh my god, she's sitting up. I don't want to look behind me. That's fucking good. Now that is a good... That is really good. Alright, remember this room, everybody. I don't know, I mean, I've already finished the game by the time you're watching this, but there's a woman's head in there. Honey, what did I say about the decapitated head painting in our bedroom? <laughs> oh, you can step on the roaches. That reminds me of the original Half-Life. I love doing that. Oh no, here we go. Oh, forget it. This is way too gross.
Who would even think of doing something so disgusting? God, I dropped my Totella triangles. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I was. N what the hell? Here we go. Making the acid. What? Are this game is. This game has been great. God. God. We'll be back after this random news break. Breaking news! This just in. G Fuel are running their buy one get one free promo. You can go get yourself a delicious tub of G Fuel and get one for free. What kind of deal is this? And why is it being reported on the news? It is a great deal, and I'm not sure. And if you're watching this in the future, the deal is probably not happening anymore. But you should use code mouse. I repeat, use code mouse. Help support the channel and get some delicious G Fuel. This has been breaking news. Also, a bus crashed and 17 people died. More at 11. <laughs> this reminds me of Amnesia so much. I don't know if that's on purpose. I haven't played that game for about eight years. Probably longer. Time is getting away from me, I'll be honest. Oh, hello. What are you watching over there? Is that one of my videos? What do you think? <laughs> no. Oh. Oh shit, a magnum, okay. Your death is much appreciated. He killed himself. Very astute. You little respawning ragamuffins. You waste of my ammo. The crank. That's huge. But now I've picked up a key item. Yep, yeah, okay. This drunk guy's gonna get demolished. Oh my god. That was a f that you sick freak! Ugh. Okay, you get a shot off. Oh no, it's a bloody cultist army. And by army, I mean three of them. Alright, we have to prepare for this, baby. This truly is a nightmare. Fucking pushing puzzles. There, we did it. Needed a couple of cranks. Now we've got the crown, we can go activate those four knights. The riddle said something about defeating his four knights, and there's four knights standing around on the pillars. I'm about to get gang banged by a bunch of zombie knights. Uh oh. Ah! He's fast! Oh my god. Oh, okay, we got archers. Ow! God! That hurt! Ah, ah, ah. Have mercy! After defeating easily the hardest fight in the whole game, this the Four Knights of Horror. Uh, I believe they're known as it's Sir Survival, Knight Psychological, that guy's Champion Slasher, and then uh, he can be Templar Terror. And then we gain access to the lift, which surprisingly isn't cursed at all, and it takes us to the basement of the mansion. We get another shooting gallery, which I demolish because I'm a gaming god, and there's also a sewer. Which, believe me, you're not missing anything if I don't show any of it. There's about 40 zombies that pop out of the water. Uh, they did get me once, I'll give them that, but I'm not showing any- Okay, I'll show that. We then find the crowbar, another pot of acid, and then backtrack back through the sewer, and end up in another nightmare room. Good. Let's go down there. That looks great. Let's get on the rusty ladder. Even better idea. I'm sure it won't break. Oh no 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 no. It's the man from the screenshot. Here he comes. Oh, it's Jack Baker from Resident Evil 7. Oh, that's it. Okay. 
Oh, wardrobe key. <gasps> so as soon as I found the bloody wardrobe key, boom, that was it. That was in my, you know what was in my mind? I had to go find those three women's heads, baby. One of the heads I found in the pantry from the Meat Golems collection. Uh, I guess we just tore that one right off. I don't know how we got that one off. And the second head was in the that first bloody wardrobe we found with the ghost lady sitting on the bed. You remember that room? Uh, the chainsaw man that we just defeated was actually in the wardrobe. He seemed pretty passive at that point. I was tempted to shoot him in the face, but I didn't do that. So he gave me the head and we parted ways. And the final head, uh, I'm just gonna let this one play out. What's going on in here, ma'am? Ah! God! Oh my god, it's Angela from Silent Hill 2. She's got the knife and everything. <laughs> I know that sweater anywhere. Don't- Ah! God! Okay, I'm sorry, Angela, but someone had to do that. Also, I'll be taking this. Have a good day. Here's those three women's heads you requested. Um, please don't betray me. You know what I've been through physically and mentally removing three heads of women from corpses? Treasure chest, if that's a mimic, swear to god. Holy water! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, thank you sir, have a good day. We seem to enter some sort of dungeon. There seems to be a dungeon. Oh, oh hello you little bastard. What was your voice again? It's been a while. Um, I don't think I'm gonna voice any of this. Thanks. Good luck. Eat my ass. Sir? <laughs> hey. We've all been there. What in the god? What's going on in here? You say Vegeta? It's James Sunderland. <laughs> oh my god. James! Oh, oh no. Well, I guess we know what happens to- Oh no, not his comedically large penny. Give that back! Good god. Oh, good god. It was, it was only a matter of time until we hit spiders. They run at you with their little arms up too. Hey! Give me that coin, you fucker! What? What's funny? Oh, I just wanted to put the coin up on his shelf. Oh, who am I to deny? Why did the gates lock? Oh my, what have you done? You madman! Oh, you deserve this. Well, that fight was nothing to write home about. I'm sure we can make it exciting some other way. Thanks for the coin, bitch. Nothing. Nothing. Oh. Oh, that's a skeleton. Ah! Hearing a lot of sounds in this cave that I'm not sure what they are. I'm gonna use this holy water because I just, I really want to use it. Ha! Yep, that worked as intended. My God, they're fast. Three fast guys, couple of zombies. How can we do this? Boom! Got to get rid of those. No, you get away from me, skeleton! I missed. Here's how we do it. Ready? Firstly. This guy, bap, one shot, he's dead. Two of these, they hear the gunshot, they run around the corner. One shot goes through both of them. Holy water, the skeletons. Steal all their stuff. Grab their plate. I've never got this far though. This is my best run yet. Oh my God, it's a rabbit. Yeah! Thank you very much. Uh, a couple of surprises there. A couple of notes I wrote down. Uh, firstly, the rabbit boss. I uh, was not expecting that. Uh, also wasn't expecting killing the rabbit boss with a singular, singular holy water explosion. I'm not sure if it was on one health as a joke or 
the holy water is just that strong, but we did it. I did a little bit more cleanup around the mansion. Uh, I waste all of my ammo on the path to the finale because I get stuck in this small little room absolutely waved by a bunch of zombies including a big boy who gave me nothing but took about three magazines of ammo. Regardless, I continue on, cross the bridge of the dungeon and enter the final boss arena. <laughs> Man, what a nightmare. A nightmare of decay. <laughs> you. Was the cat behind the whole thing? Did he, Did you put something in my pepperoni pizza? You little bastard. Maybe let's not follow the cat into whatever that darkness is. Let's absolutely not. Oh. Ah! You have awakened from the nightmare, but the real nightmare has just begun. I think they're talking about just your real life is the real nightmare. True. And that was Nightmare of Decay. Let me know what you think of the video. It's a tiny, the tiniest bit different than the usual stuff. Just the, only a little bit, just in production wise. So let me know what you think. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. And of course, if you have any survival horror games that I haven't played on the channel yet, leave them down below. I'd love to make a video like this about them. Uh, delve deep, okay? You're going to have to find some wacky shit, some hidden shit that I've never heard of. So leave them in the, in the comments. I'll be reading all of those as well. And until next time, this has been Indie Mouse. I don't know what day it is and I don't know what time it is. I, that's a lie. It's actually... Um, 4.30 p.m. What day is it? I could not tell you that much. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, baby.